good work so far. That's good. What's this? All right, so in the first one, we've got negative 6 times 2 over 3. Of course, our negative 6 times 2 that says do that part first. A division says we have parentheses on the numerator and denominator. That's the top and the bottom. So negative 12 over 3. Negative What's our four. answer going to be? Negative 4. Good. Did you get negative 4? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Bottom one, we have negative 25 over negative 5 times negative 1. The negative 25, we can't do anything with that, but we can make this one look better. That's what we do first. Division says do that part first. So negative 25, how about negative 5 times negative 1? What do you get? 5, 1. Positive 5. Positive 5, very good. Positive 5. Then we're going to take the negative 25 divided by the positive 5 and get how much? Negative 5. That's it. How many people were two for two on that? Outstanding. Very good job. We're start ramping these up, making more parts to it. You're going to see that all it is is adding on steps. If it was a negative 18, I would have it in parentheses. So which is this? Negative 1. No, no, I'm sorry. Does it mean negative 18 or does it mean subtraction? Hey, here's what division says. I want to make you aware of this. Whenever you have that fraction like this, it says that implied are some parentheses on the top and the bottom. So here it means do this part first. And it means do this part before you actually can accomplish the division. So when we look at that, we have 14 minus 18. Hey, look, hey, look. Watch. 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 It's kind of cool. Do you see that, really, if you ignore that for a second, that's a problem we've dealt before? How do you change minuses? For just like this? Is that legal? No, I put a negative sign on the 18. Very good. Hey, we've done that before, right? We've done that before. Remember how we did these last time when we didn't have negatives? We did the top all the way down, then we did the bottom, following it up, and then we did the division. Do you remember that? If you don't, you can refresh your memory on some of these videos. I, we did that. We did the top all the way down because that was just one piece of it. Then we did the bottom, the, the denominator, and then we put it all together. So right now we have our 14 minus 18. Hey, we can change minuses to plus negatives. That's what we learned in for our subtraction. How much is 14 plus negative 18 everybody? That wasn't everybody, but I'll take it. Whatever. <laughs> so we do, remember different signs subtract, sign a bigger number, we get negative 4. Over 4. Over 4. 4, huh? Positive 2. How are we getting positive 2? Because 3 plus negative 1 equals 2. Good. Different signs, you subtract, sign a bigger number. This one gives you positive 2. That's still positive 2. And then we get to divide. Negative 4 divided by positive 2. Here's where you have to watch yourself, folks. Look. When you're doing this stuff, notice on oral operations how you're using lots of different rules at the same time. Stop passing the papers around for just a second and listen, okay? When you're doing oral operations, you're doing lots of different rules at the same time. We just did a subtraction rule to change the sign. Then we did addition rule, and now we're going to use multiplication division rules. That's three different ones. You really have to keep this straight, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to make a mistake. I mean, if you start doing addition rule and go, oh, yeah, uh, different signs means that I subtract them, sign a bigger number, I'm going to get uh, something weird out of this thing. Well, it's not going to quite work for you, okay? So here we go. Different signs means automatically I'm getting a negative. Now I just divide it, and I get two. So keep in mind your rules, how we're going through this. Yeah. Um, can you just look at the negative 14 minus 18 and know it's negative 4 instead of being all You're going to get there eventually. But keep in mind that in this class, I mean, you, you might have seen that before, but a lot of people haven't. So I mean, this is, this is brand new to a lot of people. So yeah, we're going to do those steps for now.
When you get further along, absolutely. I'd like you to try a couple on your own. Make sure that we can do this, okay? So if, if we see fractions, we're doing the top and the bottom, basically as problems within problems. Uh, it'll, it'll break it down into step-by-step -step stuff for us. So get started on that one. When you finish that one, do this one. Okay, well, let me tell you how I would look at this problem. Maybe, maybe get something out of this if you're struggling, because trust me, I mean, we're, we're going to build on these problems a lot. They're going to get pretty nasty looking by the end of our class, all right? Not today, but I mean by the end of like this, this chapter, by the end of our class. They're going to look bad. They're not going to be hard. Same stuff we've been doing. Same stuff. It's just all at the same time, okay? That's what makes them more difficult. You have to get every step right to get the whole thing right. You with me on that? Yeah. That's why math is kind of like, oh my gosh, oh. You can't, time. yeah, it takes time, takes steps, but it also takes accuracy in every little part to be accurate in the whole thing. You can't mess up a little part and get it still all right. Yeah. Other things aren't like that. So here, when you're looking at a problem, here's how I'd look at it. First thing I'm noticing, we got a fraction. What the fraction says to do is do the top part and do the bottom part until you get it down to one number and then put it together. So I'm going to do the top part first. So the top part, our numerator says negative 18 plus 6. Now I know that's good because I already have the plus sign and I know my addition rules. That's what I want. So I do negative 18 plus 6. I know my signs are different. I'm going to subtract there. I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number. That's going to give me negative 12. How many have got negative 12 for the numerator? The top. Yeah. On the bottom, it's a little different. Okay, negative 12 is fine, that's what we want. On the bottom, it's a little different. It says negative 3 minus 1. Now, if I wanted negative 3 times negative 1, let me show you the difference here so you can see it one time for yourselves. This right here says negative 3 minus 1. If I had wanted negative 3 times 1, here's how it would look. Negative 3 times negative 1. That's how it would look. This says negative 3 times negative 1 is negative. So what's the difference between this problem and this problem? That says minus, that says negative. Are you clear on that? Mm -hmm. That's how you tell the difference. 
it'll never, it will never ever be written where this means negative 3 times negative 1. That will never be the case. If I want negative 3 times negative 1, I will have parentheses there. And I expect that from you, giving it back to me. If you mean times, you better have a parenthesis around that, making it negative, okay? So in our case, we go, oh, wait a second. I didn't teach you subtraction rules, did I? I taught you addition rules. So we better know how to change from minuses to pluses. Negative 3 stays the same. That's negative 3. But minus, anytime you see a single minus, it changes into two signs. You remember that? Mm -hmm. One sign goes to two different signs, or two signs goes to one diff different sign. So here we have one sign going to two I just made a mess of that. Two different signs. One minus becomes a plus negative. We learned that, I think, was it last week or something? Are you awake today? <laughs> we learned that last week? I hope. I don't remember either. That was like five days ago. My goodness, it was like a whole week. So we do change minuses into plus negatives, and then we can use addition rule with that. What's our answer going to be for that one? Four. four. Negative four. Negative four. Oh, which one? Positive or negative? Negative. Okay. You have addition rule, right? Same signs means you add, and then you keep the common sign, so you keep that negative. So we have negative 12. We have negative 4. What's negative 12 divided by negative 4? Positive or negative? Positive. Are you positive? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> By show of hands, how many people got that one? On a show of hands. Good. If you didn't, if you didn't get, get that, listen. Listen, if you didn't get that, you made a little mistake somewhere. Don't just let that go. Okay, don't say, oh, well, made a mistake. Please identify where your mistake happened. That's the way you learn, folks. You don't just say, oops. You don't just pull out your calculator and go, oh, yeah, that's the right answer. You kind of need to understand what's going on in your head to make it right all the time. So here's, here's my point. If you messed up here, going from negative 18 plus 6 to negative 12, if you mess that up, your addition rule needs some more. I'm, I'm helping you right here. But trust me, I'm helping you. Uh, I'm telling you where you need to study. You should be able to do this on your own, but I'm telling you right now. If you mess that up from here to here, you're messing up the addition rule. Go back and fix that. If you're messing up from here to here, you don't know how to change your minuses properly. Go back and look at subtraction from 2.3. 2. Look how to change minuses into plus negatives if you're messing up on that part. If you're messing up on this part from here to here, again, that's addition rule. Go back and look at addition rule when you're uh, adding two negative signs together. That's where you need to focus on. If you're messing up from here to here, that's the new stuff. That's the division that we're, you're just going to uh, focus on tonight on your homework, where your two negatives make a positive. So that's the type of things you need to be focused on when you're going through your work. Are you with me on that? That's it. Now, with that in mind, let's look at this one. We'll go ahead and do the numerator first, that's the top. Then we'll do the denominator, the bottom, and then we'll figure it out. 